Well, good morning again, everybody. Joe from the Black Rock Central Railroad. We're going to try to do a little bit of an update here today. We're going to start out with uh, just looking at a couple of odds and ends, and then we'll proceed with looking at the layout. Last year, Sparky's wife had a contest, and I won a Santa Claus. The Santa Claus is holding my one Christmas present that I got this year, a lump of coal. In addition to that contest, I won two contests from the Train Freak, and I got both his coffee mugs. And I've also picked up a coffee mug from Cousin Vinny, and we have one from Sparky. Now give me a second here and we'll get set up with a layout update. We are going to try to do this mostly handheld. At our main station, I've added a couple of platform lights. Courtesy of one of Jack Jack's contests. In addition to those lights... We've added one street light at the intersection, entering our station. And we have three lights added to our scenic railroad, to the platform. In addition to scenery lights, we've also added a water tower. We all know that Shays drank water. Now he has a place to get one. Or to get a drink anyway. We have added quite a few trees to the layout. A total of 60 in all from Bob over at Long Shadow Trees. I've come to really appreciate the quality of his uh, trees and do plan on ordering more. As you will see later on, I still need uh, quite a few. Traveling through our industrial area, there hasn't been much added. We have gotten some of the lights hooked up, but not all of them yet. Most of them are the plug and play. We have added a new industry. I had the plastic pellet facility or transfer facility from Walther's, but didn't quite know what to do with it. So we used one of their buildings as a plastics manufacturing company which we have added here we have an unloading area for plastic pellets and a plastic manufacturing company I don't know what they manufacture all I know is it's made out of plastic Our cement plant is still basically the same. I have added a couple more silos to it. In the rear, we have an area for loading and unloading of limes, crushed limestone for the scenery bar, for the cement making process. And also a silo, pair of silos for the gravel unloading which will be needed. In this corner we've also added more trees. Our town is still basically the same our fire station, the city hall, retail shops.
and a few people strolling the, along the sidewalks. Our lumber yard is still basically the same. But we have added in the background here more trees. This whole corner here of the layout is trees. I'm trying to do this handheld, so I hope I don't make people sick. Our bridge overpass for the scenic railroad, which is not running this morning. I just have my GP35 running, pulling a few cars. Always like to have at least something running. Let's see if we can get down here a little lower and catch a glimpse of it coming through. Not much progress here in our oil storage and processing plant. Probably one of the next areas to get started playing with. We did add a couple more uh, storage tanks. But that's about all we've done. And not much has changed here in our engine service facility. We did manage to get most of the fascia put up, but I am still working on putting up the blue background or the blue, uh, yeah, background. More of that's still to come, but I don't want to get all of that up until I get a lot of the scenery done because it will be in the way. And we are now back to the beginning. So, like I said, just a short little update. Let you know that I am still working. And eventually, we'll have another update. So, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great week and a great weekend coming up. See ya.